Today's gospel begins with these words. Jesus was resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. The passage from St. Luke is giving us an image of our Lord after some time of being in Galilee, was very determined to go to Jerusalem, where he will continue to preach, to heal those who are sick, but will also be arrested tortured and crucified, but on the third day he will rise from the dead. We see here the determination of our Lord to go to the place which will become the highest point of his mission on earth. Yet along the way, passing through Samaria, there were those who rejected him and his disciples. On the other hand, the disciples wanted to take revenge and destroy the Samaritans through fire from heaven. But Jesus rebuked them. Their ways are not his ways. The way of Jesus is love, patience, and forgiveness, not revenge and violence. Today's liturgy is inviting us to see that no amount of rejection should stop us from pursuing our mission to spread the gospel. Even though there are times that we would like to give up, we can learn from the example of Job in today's first reading. Job contemplated on the tragedies he has experienced. He seemed to fall into a state of depression. Although he never cursed God, he expressed his anger at the calamities that have come upon him. He opened himself to God in prayer, even telling him what misfortunes he had been through. And that is why for us who are followers of the Lord, we can pray to the Lord all of these things that discourage us. And we have the sacraments of the Eucharist and reconciliation as powerful means given to us to have that determination to proclaim the good news in season and out of season and even in the midst of rejection and failure. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus her determination to live her Christian life to the full can be seen in what she said, and I quote, Love prove itself by deeds. So how am I to show my love? The only way I can prove my love is by scattering flowers. And these flowers are every little sacrifice, every glance and word, and the doing of the least actions for love. End of quote. St. Therese was able to offer flowers to the Lord because she saw, recognized, and acknowledged God's loving presence in her life. St. Therese is also known as the patroness of the missions, but she was never sent on the mission land. She wrote in her diary that her desire of being a missionary and that she wanted to be one, not just for a few years, but for the rest of her life. Therese was a spiritual sister to several missionaries. She accompanied them from the monastery through her letters, through her prayers, and by offering continuous sacrifices for them. Without being visible, she interceded for them, for those missionaries, like an engine that, although hidden, gives a vehicle to power, the power to move forward. However, she was often not understood by her fellow nuns. She received more thorns than roses from them, but she accepted everything lovingly, patiently, offering even these judgments and misunderstandings together with her illness. And she did this joyfully for the needs of the church, so that, as she said, roses might fall on everyone, especially those who are most distant. Brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist today, let us ask the Lord for His grace to live our Christian lives to the full, even in the midst of difficulties and trials that we experience. Let us ask the intercession of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, who followed our Lord until the end, by saying, she said, I will spend my heaven by doing good on earth. Amen.